Welcome to the Creative Pugza. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create dust in Affinity Photo. By adding dust to images, you create a feel of atmosphere to your images. This effect works best with indoor images or backlit images, which are images where the light source is behind the subject in the photo. In order to create the dust, we'll need to create a dust brush first. Go to File, New. Next, set the document units to pixels. Then, set the page width and the page height to 1000 pixels. Set the DPI, the dots per inches, to 72 pixels and click Create. In the Layers panel, click the Add Pixel Layer icon to add a new layer. Now, grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Brushes panel and click the Basic Brushes. Next, select the 64 pixel Round Light Brush. In the Context toolbar, Set the opacity to 100%, blow to 50%, and hardness to 0%. Take the brush and make a few random dots on the document. After that, go to File Export. Select PNG, then click Export. Label the file Dust Brush and save it. Now let's grab the image we'll be adding the dust to. Go to File Open and select the image you downloaded. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the image and turn the original image off. With the duplicated layer selected, go to the toolbar and select Auto White Balance. This will automatically apply a white balance adjustment to the image. This part is optional, but I want to add a little bluish tint to the image. In the Layers panel, click the Adjustments icon and select the Recolor Adjustment. Set the hue to 195 degrees the saturation of 41%, and the lightness to negative 20%. Then lower the opacity to 50% and set the blend mode to soft light. It's now time to add the dust. First, we must import the dust brush. Go to the brushes panel. Click the hamburger menu and select create new category. Next, click the hamburger menu again and select Rename Category. Name the brush Dust Brushes. Now, click the menu once again and select the New Intensity Brush. Then, select the PNG file we saved earlier. We need to customize the brush some to make the dust more realistic when we go to use it. Grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Brushes panel and select the Dust Brush. In the Context toolbar, click More. Go to the General tab. The Accumulation, Flow, and Shape should be set to 100%. The Hardness should be 80% and the Spacing should be 15%. Now go to the Dynamics tab. Set the Size Jitter to 100%. This will make some of the dots larger and some of them smaller. We can also choose how the dust particles will appear when we click to use the brush. Set the controller of this to Random. This will spread the dust particles randomly, which is what we want. Next, increase the rotation jitter to 100%. Leave the controller of this as is, which is random. The rotation jitter will place the dust in different directions. After that, set the scatter X and scatter Y to 50%. Leave this controller as is. The scatter X and scatter Y, when set to random, will place the dust particles along the X and Y axis. We can now add the dust to our image. In the Layers panel, click the Add Pixel Layer icon to add a new layer. Go to the Swatches panel and double click on the Fill Color to bring up the color chosen. For the color of the dust, I found a color called Dusty Gray. The hex code for it is A39696. Alternatively, you can sample a color from the picture to use as the dust color. To do this, grab the eyedropper tool and select an area from the image such as the area of the wall below the window. Then click on the circle by the eyedropper to activate the color. I'm going to stick with the dusty gray color though. After selecting the dust color, make sure the new layer we added is selected. Then take the brush and start adding the dust. Start placing some dust below the lights and work your way down to the floor adding dust. When you first create the dust, make the size of the brush small and increase the size of the brush as you add the dust closer to the floor. 
press the left bracket key to decrease the size of the brush and press the right bracket key to increase the size. Once you've created the dust, go to the layers panel and select the dust layer. Then click the live filters icon and select Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 0.5 pixels. Make sure this layer is nested inside the dust layer. This part is optional, but you could brighten up the lights in the image. To do this, select the background layer in the layers panel. Then grab the selection brush tool from the tools panel. In the context toolbar, set the mode to add and check the snap to edges box. Now take the brush and select the two lights. Then click the adjustments icon in the layers panel and select the curves adjustment. Place a point in the middle of the curve and drag it up to brighten the lights. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. We now have to brighten the area that the lights are hitting. Grab the selection brush tool again. If you need to increase the brush size, press the right bracket key and press the left bracket key to decrease the size of the brush. Take the brush and select the area below the window and spread the selection until you reach the area underneath the light that's in the foreground, the same way you see it on the screen. After that, go to the layers panel and click the adjustments icon. Select the curves adjustment. Place a point in the middle of the curve and drag it slightly up. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. With this layer still selected, go to the Filters menu. Then go to Blur Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 50 pixels. This helps to blend the selection into the background. And this is how to create dust in a finished photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.